YouTubers. Oh, yeah. The new snozzle with the swivel. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, of course, that's what we had before. So, anyway, there's going to be a little tech tip for guys who's storing diesel. Check the container like I'm going to do now because we're getting ready to get this foot filled up. Well, I don't even know if we're going to bother to fill it, but. You know how it is, you get at it and just as well fill it. And uh, usually what I'll do is I'll fill it almost to the top, maybe down about three inches from the top, and then I'll put a full liter of power service treatment, and that kind of cuts back on algae and stuff. This particular fuel that's been in this now has probably been in it for two years. You really shouldn't. How can I put this? No, it hasn't been in for two years. We bought this last year, didn't we? Yeah. So that. it's been in for a year. So it's getting it's getting pretty well down. I really like to not buy as, uh, too much fuel that I can't use. But you know, when you got a, a tractor or two, you don't know when you're going to need it. So that's why I bought Tankful. And of course, it's where we're not doing commercial snow clearing anymore. Also. There's always the possibility that you might not get a lot of snow in winter. True. So, you know, you, you still got to have it on hand because I'll tell you, I mortally, mortally hate seeing Kathy lugging those jerry cans, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Everyone knows that didn't happen. Yeah, I know. Who am I kidding, right? Really? So, we're going to take this out. I'm going to show you something. Because I'm going to tell you, I know for a fact. That this thing here, I gotta watch this, this don't come off. I don't think that's gonna that's a oh, swivel. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's a swivel. Now I gotta go get some rags so I can lay this down on the rags and I'll be right back. Okay. It's a bit of a pain to butt, but it's not so hard lugging those jerry hands. Anyway, we shall see. I don't have a lot of faith in steel containers. No? No. I've seen them rust before. And uh, this was a brand, well, there was a food product in this one when we, when we yeah, got this one. Yeah, probably cooking oil most likely. Yeah, right? So, but... I mean, you made all the stickers. Yes. But you got to be careful because you don't want to have contaminated fuel because of the bottom of the tank. There is some fuel in there. Yeah, I can hear it slushing. Ooh. Ooh. This is nasty. <laughs> there's, nasty. No, there's no algae at all. No, you get algae in there? Oh yeah, you can get algae in there. Moisture causes algae. Hmm. But yeah, you can see nastiness. Here, pass me over the camera. And I'm gonna see if I can get the folks back home. I'll see what you're seeing? A bird's eye view. Down there. Oops, sorry guys. Mm. Over there there's a big spot of it. You can see it around the edge, yeah. And even around the edge there. Okay. Hang on, now see if it I can... show up good on video, you know it doesn't... Yeah, I changed the, uh, the leg pattern. So guys, you can see it there, look. Some around the edge. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's there's little bits of it as well. You can see the rust in the fuel itself. There's only about man. There's not very much fuel. How much fuel is there? I was guessing. Uh, I can't really see it. Yeah. So you can see the bits of fuel there, folks. So that's just not going to do it. 
It's about the color of uh, apple juice. Yeah. It's yellowish. There's a little tiny bit of water, not much, not much at all, but it's rusty. So you can't, you can't take a chance on it. And your filter, what about your filter that you got on there? Will that help from Well, the filter will, will stop the water and it'll stop the, the, uh, the sediment. But the only problem is, is if you fill it up, that rust is not going to get any better. Oh. So you're liable to come out some morning and see a trail of diesel fuel oh boy. going across the floor. And that stuff don't smell real nice. Plus, it's an environmental hazard. That's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a plastic barrel this time. The plastic barrels are, are great in one sense and bad in others. Uh, this got a steel treaded bung. It's got a bung hole. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Yeah. I want the plastic ones will have a plastic bung hole. That creates a bit of a problem because if you're not real careful putting these heavy pumps in, uh, even a hand pump, they're wobbling back and forth, you can destroy the treads. Uh. So, but, but, that could be a mod. <laughs> yeah, can you take your little dooflicky from there and put it in that one? No, no, no. No? No. I wouldn't put my dooflicky near that, okay? <laughs> Stop making me laugh. Behave. Okay. Yeah, because diesel fuel burns. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so no to the dooflicky. Yeah, keep your dooflicky guys completely clear, clear of that bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting x rated real quick. They're a bunch of perverts if they think what they're thinking. I know, really. I'm only talking about bungholes. And dooflicky is the pump, right? That's right. Okay, cool. Now that we're on the same page, same channel. So anyway, so, so our, uh, my cousin Marty says he has a plastic barrel. Fabulous, so, yay. But we have another technical issue. We may have to get somebody to make stickers. Oh my. <laughs> it's always something. Always something. <laughs> I can't have toast in the morning without having a sticker on it. <laughs> so you can't do without having a sticker. Gotta have a sticker. Got to have a sticker. So, and I got an idea for a, a mod Already? on the bone hole for the, really? for the plastic one, if need be. But anyway, folks, I'm just telling you, that, reminding you that if you take have a barrel. steel barrel, you might want to have a little look-see. Don't just take off and fuel it up and, and come back and everything be psychedelic and copacetic and everything else and then find out that filters are plugged solid in the middle of a snowstorm and they probably only got such a such a length of life. I mean, I know we well, only had a year, but I mean, they went to food and stuff. And well, it wasn't rusty when we when we bought no. it. We paid twenty dollars something for it. It was no mm. big deal, but it was a beautiful can. It was there was nothing wrong with it. Oh, it's beautiful. But uh, I just said, well, I better check it today, right? So there it is, and it can't be no tizzer. Okay, so folks, check the quality of your barrel because if your barrel's contaminated like this one is, and you dump good fuel in. Your good fuel is not going to be good anymore. You're going to have you may you may have issues. Like this is not real serious, but it's it's still uh, not. with regard to the plastic barrel. You're going to want to uh, do your research and make sure that it's suitable for diesel. I've looked around. I'm sure there's going to be other people talking diesel and plastic barrels is talking about is equivalent to what's the best motor oil. It creates such a debate. Now I know people that, that got plastic barrels and had diesel fuel in for 20 years. I don't know. And when I'm talking plastic barrels, I'm talking about a 55 or 50 gallon barrel or a 200, and 200 liters, I think there's mm -hmm. around. As big as this, not the thin wall, the thick, real thick one. So, so check, I think there's a, uh, there will be a tag under the bottom. So before you get a barrel or before you buy it, if you have to buy it, just Google that tag on the bottom, and uh, you might have to do a little bit of research. And I'm sure if anybody knows exactly what the tag number or what the tag should be at the bottom of the plastic barrel, leave it in the comments. I'm sure people will appreciate the information. So I just thought I'd do this little quick video for you, just to let you know what I'm up to, and uh, what, how I'm going to solve the problem, and 
We'll see you in the next video. You guys take care. Happy tractor. And God bless. Hey. Bones. Let's check down this point. Have a look see. This this is this pump is about 10 years old, if not older. I don't know about inside, but it's been nasty outside. Yeah, well, they're out in the elements all the time. So, let's see, because this, this is all our stuff here, too, this switch. Right? So, let's see, we shall see. Hey, it's warm out today. Yeah, fabulous. Oh, we had thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning, yeah. Well, I didn't. And it got so dark the pond lights came back on. Yeah. 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 At uh, ten o'clock this morning. Uh huh. Oof. Oof. Breeze in our face. I got the wrong size. I get another weapon. I gotta get another weapon. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Try her again. I can change the breeze of the breeze direction. See? Yeah. Yeah. That's good because it's blown in all of our faces. Yeah. She thought of sitting on the sofa now and to hear all back mm -hmm. eyelashes and eyebrows all pulled back. Say, geez, turn the ear away, will you? <laughs> That's right. have to tap on it. Sometimes it would come on and some other times it wouldn't. We changed this for a customer last week. Yes, eh? yeah. Yeah, but, reliable. No, no, before you throw it out, you might as well see if you can. Oh, bolt cracked off in that one. Hmm. Could there be any perks salvageable for spear? Oh, yes, I guess. But how, many yeah. how many people beat these up? usually get beat up like that, right? But I don't know about you, but I haven't seen too many of these apart in my lifetime, so. Ooh. 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 Should come over. Yeah, can we see? Have because a look you guys see. are curious. I gotta get my light. I gotta reach over there and get my light. Ooh. Look. Oh. Mm. There's a lot of a lot of crap down there off the brushes. Stripped out. Stripped out, yeah. Well it's not stripped out, it's just that uh, well for one thing. The switch is still working, but holy smokes. Hmm. I bet you, although there's lots of there's lots of uh, brush left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of brush left on it. it looks like aluminum, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's all. Uh, I'd say that's a cast. I would say I'd say that's cast on it. Hang on, now we have a little loopsy here. We get a maggot. Mm -hmm. Checks down with a maggot. Cool. Yeah, put some maggot up to it. If the maggot sticks to it. It's not aluminum in That's aluminum. That's aluminum. Yeah. That's cast. On the bottom. And the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, the pump, the actual pump part. Well, is, you could tell on most because look at the way the aluminum goes. All yeah, cruddy, all cruddly. Yeah. 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 So. I've had on vehicle parts before. Yeah. So I'm going to pull this apart now. Pull her down a bit further, but the armature looks pretty toasty. Looks pretty worn. But you know, it could be just a bearing, right? Oh. Yeah. So I will pluck a little bit more of it apart. And uh, maybe we can take some of this off here. Ooh. Ooh. That's probably corroded in there now. Oh yeah, I'd say. Not bad. And of course, 
I got to get a longer socket because this got an edge on it and that won't go down the Well, I'm going to tell you, even then, it's not going to jump out at you. Persuader. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that, uh, that dude flicky going through here for the switch, he seized up. there before I start pounding the living daylights out of it. Mm -hmm. Oof. 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 Sounds like a lot of rust or something. No, it's just part of that oh. porcelain or something they got down there. Bearing seems good. Fuel. fuel. There's fuel. Bad. Yeah, maybe I'll have to get my multimeter and check the oh, do flicky. Yeah. yeah, he's good. I thought maybe the bearing would be our stop right? But he's not. The brushes, they all look perfect. Man, for something that got something that old. I know. It's in pretty good shape yeah, actually. Pretty reliable. Well, it's built in the good old USA, so that should tell you something. Hey boy. Now I suppose we got to go get a whole new set of tools here, do I? I think so. Yeah. More wrenches. But anyway, it's a, uh, it's pumping. It never had, it never had a problem pumping. It had a problem starting. It wouldn't start, right? So yeah, I that's think good when you're relying on it too, you know. Well, what is? I think what I'm going to do because the brushes are good, and I know it was pumping when it pumped. When the pump is not stalling. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to check that armature and if he if he reads good I'm going to take it down the lathe and I'm going to profile those brushes up against the armature and I'm going to put it together and see how it works. I just want to take this off, see if I can hear the bearing. Would that bearing do feel? That bearing don't feel good. No, like scrubby. Yeah. Now I gotta go get a pair of snap ring pliers and see if I can unsnap that snap ring, because he's snappable. Oh my lord. It's just brutal, isn't it? Yeah. Certainly needs a lot of stuff on hand. Yeah. Just to take apart a little pump. Hopefully now they'll go in there. By gosh, they won't. No. A small little thing. No. Well, I gotta go on the hunt and see if I got smaller than that again. Holy smaller. smokes. 
That's unbelievable. Well, I got a little tiny, tiny, tiny pair here. They don't belong to this set, so they're kind of there's there's two types. There's external and internal. And so this is going to be the opposite way. Hopefully, I can do it this way. I don't think I can, but I'm going to have to try to cheat a little bit here. Let me see here now. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it? Yeah, I think so. Totally using the tool wrong, but that's how I did it. You <laughs> have to do it again, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I'll leave that on. I might not get that off there no more. And there's seals and stuff there. Wowzers. <clears throat> He's not fuzzy about coming out of there. So what I got to do, what have I got to do? Tell me. I don't know. It looks like he's Yeah, bearing's not good. No. Yeah. Now in the meantime, that's not what stopped from... No, from pumping. From pumping, no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another bearing. You can see water must have got in it. Look. Oh, yeah. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks kind of muddy. Looking. Yeah, I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to turn that down on the lathe, set the brushes again, put a new bearing on there, and, uh, you know, yeah, might be able to save the pump. Yeah, definitely. Good for a spear. I mean, they're a big company. They can... They can certainly use it. So, oh, I should see if I got a puller to pull that off, that bearing. Let's have a look. See. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're kind of going to cheat a little bit here. We're going to try to pull that bearing off. But we have an issue. And the issue is. That got to go down and touch that armature. Oh. Might want to come closer with that. Yeah, that is an issue. And you can't put that in there because you could spread that apart, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that there like that. Perhaps what I should do now, I was going to say I clean that up first, but I think that'll be okay. So we're going to put this on here and we're going to Screw this down here and see what happens. I might get to make a fool out of myself on YouTube or. Could end up with a blooper? Could end up with a blooper. Why do we put this stuff on YouTube? Mm. Nobody's going to be interested in this. Hopefully I won't run out of thread here first, and I think I am. Look, I just ran out of thread. Isn't that, isn't that terrible? That's just terrible. See, if you were doing these things all the time, you'd make up the little adapters. Yeah, that's right. But I mean, in 21 years in business, we've never had to take one of these apart, so. It is what it is, eh? Okay, you got another one? Yeah, kind of. Extender on or something. Yeah. Uh, that, <laughs> might, that might not even work either. That might not even work either. We shall see. Seems like everything I touched there I had put had to do the lathe, put, the, put it in the lathe, make up something for it. Yeah, it's good. That's coming. Just a little bit of ingenuity as a big word. 
Well, I heard that on the news this morning. He said, if I can only get that out before I forget it. <laughs> Loosen this up, because this is what keeps those jaws together. Oh, he's very bad. He's a man in Taiwan. He is a 6200 LB or L8. And then L8 or LB. Could be an LB. Oh, I'd say LB. 6200 LB. Okay, I gotta go look for parts.